First tonight, the parents accused of abusing and murdering their child now stand trial. Catherine and John Snyder are both facing charges, including murder and endangering children. WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian is live at the Hamilton County Courthouse tonight. So Anna, this trial is mostly centering around one child. Well, Craig, today we heard about all of the kids that Catherine and John Snyder adopted from China, but this case does center around their son, Adam Snyder, because prosecutors say Catherine and John are responsible for his death. This poor kid comes from China from an orphanage to this family, and what do they do? They kill him. That's just one of the things Catherine and John Snyder are accused of. In total, they're facing 26 charges. These include aggravated murder, felonious assault, and endangering children. Here's what the prosecution says happened to Adam Snyder. They say Catherine took him to Children's Hospital on October 4th, 2016. He's described as skin and bones and gray in color. They were concerned for his health. The prosecution says Catherine ended up taking Adam home, promising to bring him back the next day. October 5th is the reason why we're here today, ladies and gentlemen. Investigators say Adam soiled himself that morning. And the routine punishment in the side of home for, for soiling yourself was to place these children in cold showers and baths and smear feces on them. Investigators saying Catherine then slammed Adam on the ground and eventually called 911. They say Adam was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead because of an acute subdural hemorrhage on the back of his head from blunt force trauma. The defense, however, tells a different story. The evidence will show that Adam died of natural causes as a result of diagnosed and undiagnosed medical and neuropsychiatric issues. They say leading up to the day of Adam's death, his body and his parents posted road signs along the way but the physicians failed to pay attention until it was too late. The defense says these included Adam refusing to feed or dress himself. He began smearing feces regularly, road sign. They say on October 5th, Catherine found Adam unresponsive and called 911. And after he was rushed to the hospital, he was pronounced dead. It could happen to you, it could happen to me. It did happen to Kate John Snyder. Also today, we did hear from a witness coming up at 6. I'll tell you more about what this person had to say. For now, at the Hamilton County Courthouse, Anna Izellian, WCPO 9 News. And